Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. Today we got the San Diego Toreros hosting the Navy Midshipmen who are ranked 13th in the country. They're 4-1 on the season and we're going to take a look at their schedule here in a minute. Their best player is their fullback and that scares me like greatly. He's got 85 speed and he's just a great athlete and it really scares me to see him get the football especially in the triple option attack. They have a lot of speed at halfback as well, and the quarterback, Turner, is a beast. We're going to check out his stats here as well. But this team is just really stacked, really solid, and a lot of depth everywhere, especially at the halfback position. And it's just going to be really hard to stop their offense. Micah Turner, four touchdown passes, 10 rushing touchdowns and 500 plus yards on the ground. Their only loss came last week. They lost to uh, the Air Force Falcons at home, but the Air Force Falcons are ranked 17th in the country, so it's not really a bad loss for them. It was 14 to nine, and all the other games, as you could see, they just completely blew out their opponents, and they were all FCS opponents. So hopefully that does not uh, mean that San Diego is not gonna stand a chance today. I am predicting a Navy win, but I think it's going to be pretty close. 24-21 Navy over San Diego. See what the guys think and get their predictions. Hi everybody, Brad Nessler along with my partners Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the Navy Midshipmen and the home team. In the midst of this wonderful college football season, this game certainly looks to have all the energy of a championship game. And here comes the home team. The home team appear to be completely overmatched in this one. What do you think, Kirk? Navy comes into this football game led by the quarterback, and he's such a leader, Brad. Believe me, he won't buy into any of this pregame. We're going to blow him out, Hoopla. He's a focused competitor, and he'll be ready to play. You're absolutely right. I'm picking Navy. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. The pregame routine will be the same without that prediction. Now let's get the coin talk. So everybody's picking the midshipman today. And here is Tolbert on the halfback option. And a great spin move. And he'll pick up about 16 yards. And here's King, the fullback. What a spin move. Hurdles over a down defender in the open field. And the big fullback's going to take it the distance already on the second play of the game. And that is exactly what I was worried about. I don't think San Diego has enough speed to keep up with their stable of backs here in Navy. And that was just very impressive. A nice spin move to break a tackle and hurdle over a bunch of guys on the ground. But here's Robbie Ballard. He's carrying the team so far, rushing. And there's a nine yard pickup for him. They're gonna keep pounding the rock. And he's got the first down and more up close to the 45 yard line. Second and 10, Ballard again. And he'll have another first down for the Toreros. He's got 33 yards on four carries already. But Ballard gets sacked way back in their own territory. And that'll make it second and 17. And they'll keep it on the ground. Robbie Ballard right up the gut, jukes and picks up 19 yards. No, they give him credit for 20 and a first down. Play action, Ballard sacked once again. So the passing plays are not working so far. Darrell Ballard drops back twice and is sacked twice. The Toreros dead last in the nation on third down conversions, and that definitely needs to change. But the Toreros have done pretty well so far this season against conference opponents as they pick up a first down here after a 15-yard face mask, so that's one way to get a first down. But San Diego is 2-1 and one in conference play right now as Demetrius George drops a pass, and the Toreros send on the field goal unit. The kick is up. And he's going to push it to the right. So a nice uh, mistake <laughs> after a nice drive. Well, last week, San Diego lost to Cal Poly 34-14. That was their only conference loss. And here is King loose again. And this guy is a monster. He's going to take another one the distance. Touchdown midshipman. And that Navy offense is looking nasty. And I don't know how we're going to stop this guy. But there's still plenty of football left as Navy gets a personal foul for taunting, but they do make the extra point. And Robbie Ballard picks up seven more yards, and he'll get a first down with that face mask. This is the third ranked opponent that San Diego has faced this season. In week two, they lost to Hawaii, who was ranked 10th in the country. 
Torero's lucky to recover that fumble. And Ballard is hit again, and he's picked off. Stevenson has it. And Robbie Ballard forces the fumble, his first career force fumble. I never thought I'd see him get a forced fumble, but that was a nasty hit. And Navy takes over. And in week four, San Diego lost to San Diego State, who was ranked 19th in the country. They lost those two ranked games big. Hawaii won 49-17. San Diego State beat the Toreros 59-17. And Tolbert runs through two defenders in the open field inside the 10 down to the 6. What a run from <laughs> Mike Tolbert. Oh, my goodness. That was just poor tackle attempts. And that was Dylan Tong, the safety, the star safety, getting plowed over. Third and goal from the six yard line. Turner on the option, spins, and he gets in the end zone for the touchdown. And that is a crowd silencer right there. It is 21 0. 13th ranked Navy on top of the Toreros. Third and nine. Daryl Ballard rolling way out to the right. And he's going to take off and pick up the first down with his legs, which he does not do very often. But that was a good call that time. Daryl, option left side, pitches out to Robbie. He'll be, get about nine yards, maybe. Second and one. Robbie up the gut. He is a monster today. And he's getting close to 100 yards rushing already. And they're going to keep feeding the monster. Right up the middle. Another seven or eight yard pickup. And that will get him over the century mark here in the first half. Third and two. Play action. Wide open. Doug Lay. First down. San Diego. And they're moving. Down at the 27 yard line. Daryl. Going to take a shot left side. Doug Lay has it, and he dives for the score. And San Diego gets on the board. So they're coming back, folks. 21-7. to They're not giving up. They're showing a lot of fight right now, a lot of heart and resiliency. And that was a perfect throw and a perfect route for the score. Navy on the ground again. King fumbles the football. That was Dylan Tong on the forced fumble, and it's recovered by the Toreros. They're in comeback mode, folks. They get a score here. They're down by one touchdown. Robbie Ballard up the gut, and he'll get another first down. Navy has no answer for him, just like San Diego has no answer for King. And Daryl Ballard is sacked way back at the 35-yard line. That's going to bring up third and 13. Ballard going to have to throw it. Rolling out left. And he's going towards the sideline. Chucks it up and prays, and it's incomplete. So fourth and 13 upcoming. Robbie Ballard split out left side. Darrell's going to throw it that way. It's deflected and caught by Sykes off the deflection for the first down. And they were definitely lucky on that play. Third and three. Robbie picks up the first down. Down to the five-yard line. Third and goal. Lay wide open in the end zone. Touchdown, San Diego. The cornerback came in to hit Darrell Ballard instead of covering his man. And Darrell made him pay the price. That'll make it 21-14 going into the half. So we do have a close game like I predicted. And here's Robbie Ballard busting it out left side. He'll pick up maybe six yards. He's got a buck 27 today. First and 20 after a holding call. Robbie Ballard to the outside. Doug Lay throwing some blocks. And Ballard picks up 23 and a first down. Play action. Darrell Ballard wide open on the right side. That was almost picked off. Oh my goodness, that cornerback came out of nowhere. From the 46-yard line, Robbie Ballard again in the open field. Down to the 32-yard line. He's on pace for 250 yards rushing today. Daryl Ballard throwing left side and Doug Lay with another spectacular catch. And that'll get him inside the 10-yard line. Third and goal from the one. Daryl Ballard punches it in. And we've got ourselves a ball game, folks. It is all tied up at 21 apiece. And San Diego gets a third down and one stop. So they got a shot at taking the lead. Demetrius George over the middle. About a 17-yard reception, his first of the game. And the Toreros are moving. Third down and 12, though. Daryl right side. Demetrius George, and he is about a yard short of the first down. He had to come back for that pass. The crowd wants the Toreros to go for it, and they will. Robbie Ballard stuffed in the backfield. That was a jailbreak blitz. And maybe takes over on offense. Just a great stop, a great call by their defensive coordinator to stuff Robbie Ballard. That's the first time he's really been stuffed all game. Tolbert Jukes gets past Dylan Tong, picks up the first down. Price on the tackle. Turner left side and Price with a huge hit. That was vicious. Take a look at that one. Oh my goodness. Probably the biggest hit of his career. Second and 13. Turner 
option. First down and more. Jackson makes the stop, but not until they pick up 15. Now in the fourth quarter, second and five. Thompson, or Tompkins, excuse me, gets destroyed by Dylan Tong. A yard shy of the first down, and he has injured his chest on the play. The wind is knocked out of him. He will return in the game. And Tolbert picks up the first down, and Navy now trying to score. They're at the one-yard line, third and goal, and King punches it in again. That's his third touchdown rush of this game. And he has been a beast, and that's exactly what I was worried about. It's really difficult to contain the fullbacks of an offense run by Navy. And here's Robbie Ballard, and the Toreros are at 181 yards rushing today, which their season average is 78 per game. Darrell rolling left side. He might have the first down here, and he trucks through the cornerback and picks it up. Impressive run. It's now third and long again, though. This has really been killing them today. And right side deflected away. He wanted Demetrius George, but it was deflected at the last second. Fourth and nine. Toreros are going to go for it. Ballard pressured. Defender giving chase. Desperation heave, and it's almost picked off. And San Diego turns the ball over again. Second down and four. Turner pitches it to Tompkins. I don't know how he got rid of that. And that's a first down for Navy at the 26-yard line. And they're going to go reverse here to Tompkins. Nice stop by Rob Roy, but he is called for the face mask. So instead of a fourth and ten, it's going to be third and two. Big play here. They need a stop. And on the reverse is Tompkins. He hurdles, and he's loose, and he's in for the touchdown. And Navy... Is going to walk out of here with a 35-21 victory. The defense had him stopped there, but a face mask from Rob Roy pretty much gave them a first down. Last play we're going to show today, Daryl Ballard, desperation, just throwing it out to the right for Demetrius George. He's picked off. It's the second turnover of the game for San Diego. And the Toreros fall. They drop to 2-4. and four. Navy improves to 5-1. and one. But it's definitely going to be a lot easier going forward for the Toreros. We do have a couple other subscriber versus subscriber games on their schedule, but there are no more ranked FBS opponents. So they had one of the toughest schedules uh, in the preseason. So it should get a lot easier for them, and they can only afford to lose maybe two more games if they want to get into the bowl season. But San Diego, 9 of 13 on third down conversions today. And they came into this game dead last, so there's definite improvement on the Toreros' part when it comes to uh, conversions. And they definitely hung with Navy. That fourth quarter was just killer. Daryl Ballard, 9 of 21, 125 yards, two touchdowns, two picks, sacked three times. Daryl Ballard also had the rushing touchdown. Robbie Ballard, 34 carries, 187 yards, seven broken tackles, two 20-plus yard runs. Doug Lay, 71 yards, receiving two touchdowns. Demetrius George, three catches, 28 yards. One drop today for Espinoza. Brick Wall allowed a sack today. He did have a pancake as well, and so did Demetrius George. Dylan Tong, eight tackles. Rob Roy was six. Isaac Price, he had that massive hit. He had three tackles today, one for a loss. And DJ Payne, two tackles. Robbie Ballard with two tackles and a forced fumble. Luke Moss, two tackles at the middle linebacker position. No sacks, no picks. One pass deflection for Dylan. A forced fumble for Robbie Ballard and one for Dylan Tong. One recovered for BJ Hall. And the San Diego really needed some more takeaways in this game and some more stops if they wanted to win. But it was pretty close. It was not as close as my prediction of 24 21. But you got to give San Diego some props. They held in there because we have seen some ranked opponents completely destroy our schools. So, I mean, we've seen San Diego get destroyed by Hawaii and San Diego State. So the fact that they hung with Navy is pretty impressive. Our next San Diego game, they will be traveling to take on the Southern Utah Thunderbirds. I'll see you guys tomorrow with UC Davis and Sacramento State. Take it easy, guys.